I love everything about the Old West End. It's one of the nation's largest collection of Victorian and Edwardian preserved architecture. This neighborhood was intentionally designed so that every place was different. I would describe the Old Western community as a beautiful island of misfit toys. Most people then felt like it was a white middle class neighborhood that didn't especially want blacks around. Redlining is discrimination. It almost destroyed this neighborhood. Race-wise, a great time to be alive in terms of uh, seeking to make progress. In the 70s and 80s, people were afraid to come out. If you're gonna be gay in Toledo, you gotta to live in the Old West End. That's what everybody is. Gay people felt welcomed. I could come here and I was around other gay people. There were people that always had parties. Boy, did we have some good parties. I think for all of us that moved here early on, that was our goal, to preserve the integrity of this neighborhood. Living in these houses, we are like the curators. We're saving them for the next generation. So if we don't protect them, who will? It was like living in a war zone down here. Then I would send them personally a t-shirt with a beautiful house on the front and it said, crime doesn't pay in the old West End, mother pass it on. That's how we cleaned up the neighborhood. I wouldn't want to be anywhere else because you can't, you can't duplicate this. It turns out I found my tribe. A community where you can make a home, but you can feel like you're part of a bigger family. So that's one of the uniqueness things about the West End. We have some weird characters in the West End. A lot of people ride their bikes around here too. I've been asked not to anymore. <laughs> oh, plus we have golf carts.